Hello everyone. Um, in Academic Listening Strategies 2 class, welcome to the 12th week of our um, fall semester 2020. In today's class, we're going to uh, work on listening two of unit eight. Uh, what are you afraid of? That's the unit, uh, the listening title. So you should have your textbook open to page 175, 76, around there. And as we have been always talking, whenever you see this mark on the screen, let me move myself up there. Uh, if you see this stop sign, you should stop the uh, video and work on the listening or work on the textbook exercises. Okay, let's begin. Uh, so let's go to this part. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of something? Uh, in this lesson, you're going to listen to a woman talk about her doctor, talk to her doctor about her fear of high places. When she goes to high places, like 10 story building, 10th floor, she's afraid of height. As you listen to the conversation, gather information and ideas about when it is good to be afraid. Is it good to be afraid or not? It's up to you, but sometimes it could be good to be afraid. Okay, now let's look at uh, vocabulary on page 176. Preview the listening. Here are some words and phrases from listening to. Read the sentences, sentences one to sentences eight. Then choose your correct answer that best matches the meaning of each underlined word. So this part, I want you to wo uh, work on right now. But later, when you work on your assignment, you have to submit your answers by using the Google Forms. So for the time being, I want you to stop the video here for about, uh, I don't know how long it takes, so maybe two, three minutes or five minutes and choose the right answer for each underlined words. So please stop the video. Okay, I hope you have uh, finished uh, working on this. If you haven't, as I said again, please continue stopping and finish the activities. So right answers you will find when you submit your assignment in the Google Forms later. Now, next, uh, let's quickly talk about note-taking skill for, uh, actually this was from last week's uh, um, uh, part of the lesson, but last week we didn't have a video. So let's look at this here. Uh, this is called kernel method, kernel method for note-taking. There are many different ways to take notes. One very useful method was developed at Cornell University by Professor Walter Park. You can use this method for any class or any subject, normally in this class. It's easy. What you have to do is make a narrow column on the left for questions and keywords. Make a wider note-taking column on the right and at the bottom of the page leave space for a summary. So it should look like this. Let me quickly draw it over here. So what you have to have is a narrow column on the left for questions and keywords, a wider column on the right for notes about the uh, questions. And on the bottom you have is summary. It will look like this. So what you have to have over here is questions and keywords, okay? So you will write all questions and keywords over here. Then other details about the notes, okay? Main notes, we'll write here. And later on, we will write a short summary over here. So it will look like this. And when you, uh, when you are taking notes, what you gotta do is you gotta write notes over here, notes over here, questions and keywords over here. Notes would be details. And using questions and keywords, you'll have to write a summary over there. So please remember that. During the lecture or while you are reading, take notes on all important information and details in the right-hand column, or that's the notes section, okay? And use abbreviation and symbols where you, it is possible. And when you finish, use the left-hand column to write keywords or questions that will help you find information in the notes. So based on the notes, over here, you can write keywords and questions over there. And after that, you can use the keywords and quest, uh, notes and write a short summary. So that's how you would do. 
And it would look like this when you take notes. If you look at this part, so it's uh, questions and keywords on this side, notes on this side, and summary over there. So in today's listening, I want you to practice this also, okay? So let's go to the main listening. Now, main listening is on page 176. Uh, listen and take notes. Prepare a sheet of paper. So uh, you're going to take, a, take notes on a paper. So please pre 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 prepare a blank paper and make a chart like this, question and keywords, notes and summary. Then go to my doc, listen to all materials, which maybe you have already opened it. So if you go to listen to all the materials and instructions, you can find the listening audio track week 12. So please go to my dog and do the listening. While listening to the audio, please take notes using the uh, this method. So I want you to stop the video here, go to my dog, listen 12, and write down your notes. For the first time, complete the notes column, okay? This time, you can complete only this part, notes column only, over here only. So please stop the video. Okay, I hope you have uh, finished doing that. I hope uh, you did a good job on note taking, did you? I hope so. So your notes should look like this, okay? If you have uh, like notes first terrified of high places and everything over there. Okay. It doesn't have to have exact words. Okay. This is my note, a sample note. Your note could be different, but the main idea from the notes should be similar. Now, please use this note and listen again. Listen again to uh, the conversation, again from my dog, and write down the keywords column. So now what you have to do is you have to write down keywords, and you will have to also write down the summary okay this part i want you to work on now so please stop the video again here and go to my doc for the listening listen again and fill in keywords questions and summary of the uh, short article okay stop the video here now i think you did a good job okay i hope you have uh, uh, good answers for these two now let's look at what you should have. You should have these questions, keywords, what is mercy's phobia? How did it start? Situations afraid of, negative effect on life. How can she get over her phobia? And here is a short summary based on the notes. So please look at the summary, look at the questions and look at the notes and compare this with your own. Did you have a good notes? I hope so, good job. So now we're coming to the end of the lesson. Um, that's all for today. Uh, now use the Google form link to submit your assignment. Your assignment is based on exercises uh, D and F on uh, pages 177 and 178. So I hope you will do a good job uh, with the listening and please stay safe, stay healthy. That's all for today. Goodbye.